You might recall the fantastic sci-fi series The Expanse. I mention this because one of the standout features in the series was the transparent communicators used by nearly every character. Transparent displays have been around for a while now, starting from the days of the Xperia Puranus. However, it was at this year's MWC in Barcelona when Lenovo unveiled a functional laptop with a transparent LED screen that strikingly resembled the glass communicators from the Expanse. After witnessing these innovations, a question popped into my mind. Will transparent smartphones become a reality soon? And is there a genuine need for them? But before we dive into that, let's briefly clarify the transparent LED technology. So what exactly is transparent LED technology? To simply put, it's just a collection of diodes. Most modern gadgets rely on LED technology for their displays, although LCD remains a cost-effective alternative. LED stands for Light Emitting Diode, essentially semiconductor devices that emit light when an electric current passes through them. OLED represents a further advancement of LED technology. While LED diodes typically serve as a backlight for the LCD layer, OLED diodes can emit various colors with high intensity. Transparent LED technology has undergone significant evolution. Without delving too deeply into technical specifics, the key point to grasp is that transparent LED technology utilizes a transparent substrate to house these diodes. When not in use, they allow light to pass through them to some degree, usually around 70 to 80 percent. To achieve this, you require transparent anodes and extremely thin or transparent connections between the diodes. In the past, this technology could only produce monochrome images and was quite costly. However, advancements in manufacturing processes have now made it feasible to develop the aforementioned transparent laptop. So now you must be scratching your head, where is my transparent iPhone? Hold on a moment. While a transparent phone may seem intriguing, it's not just feasible. Firstly, you would constantly be distracted by whatever is happening behind the display. And secondly, everyone around you would have a glimpse of your screen, albeit in a mirrored fashion when viewed from behind. These factors raise significant privacy concerns. One potential solution is to incorporate an electrochromatic polarizing layer, allowing you to make the display opaque with a simple tap of a button. However, this begs the question, what's the purpose of having a see-through screen in the first place? Then there is the issue of transparency extending to other essential smartphone components, from batteries to chipsets to printed circuit boards. The list goes on. Sure, you could theoretically house these parts in a small, non-transparent section of the phone, similar to what Sony did with the Xperia Pureness, but beyond the novelty, I struggle to see a practical application for this transparent technology, especially in smartphones. So where does it truly belong? And that brings us to the application of transparent LED screens. One intriguing possibility is advertising. Imagine this scenario. You're riding the subway and during stops, the window suddenly display advertisements. It might not sound appealing, but it's a feasible concept. A practice already seen on a small scale in Japan and China. Another exciting application could involve integrating transparent displays into household windows. You could effortlessly showcase the weather forecast and other pertinent information, and come nightfall, these expansive windows could transform into a home theater system. Of course, this technology could revolutionize car windshields as well, turning them into interactive displays. Imagine seeing your speed, navigation instructions, and lane lines projected onto the windshield during low visibility or nighttime driving, something that has already been partially realized. Having covered the aforementioned points, I find myself personally drawn to the idea of owning a transparent or semi-transparent smartphone. Moreover, there could be a niche demand for a small series of feature phones reminiscent of the Xperia Pureness. But what are your thoughts on this? Are you inclined to invest in a transparent phone? And what innovative uses do you foresee for this technology? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech insights and discussions.